John and Asia are expecting their second child. They will be having their baby at a freestanding birth center. We want to have an all-natural birth. I had an epidural with my previous delivery, so with this one with no epidural, I want to feel all of it. <laughs> just to see her so happy and ready and, you know, just content about it, is, it's really helps, you know, being the father and the, the, the birth coach, the partner. Yeah. Tim and Alana are expecting their first child and are planning on having an unmedicated birth. We've been doing it for thousands of years. <laughs> we did it a long time ago without any kind of painkillers, so I know we can do it. I've never had a baby before, so I don't know what I'm in for, but for me, I'd, I'd like to go natural and, and feel everything and be a part of it all. Janine's decision to manage pain without medication was influenced by the hands-on support she received from her sister. I did expect to get an epidural, but my sister, she was motivating me not to. So I tried to go natural as long as I can, which I did, and I went all the way. <laughs> You'll also hear from Laurel Wilson, an experienced childbirth educator and doula, who is a professional labor assistant trained in using non-medical comfort techniques. She will separate common myths from the facts in special segments throughout the program. As a doula of many years, the most common concern that I hear from all moms is that they're afraid that they won't be able to manage pain. I know from personal experience attending births that mothers have everything that they need in order to get through labor, provided that they're in the right emotional space, they have the right environment, and that they really have the right support team around them. 